So the project was for LEED certification for the new body shop facility. Um, LEED stands for Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design. It's a certification administered by the United States Green Building Council. So basically the project evolved from needing a new facility for the manufacture of the Chrysler 200 uh, bodies. So as part of the construction of the new facility, we went after this LEED certification. When we designed the facility, everything from the, the floor to the walls to the roof, we looked at using higher insulation materials, looking at ways to reduce energy. Uh, our heating equipment has variable frequency drives. We have a, for cooling, we're using chilled water from a central energy system over at the paint shop. And so what we tried to do is exceed what a normal building construction would be for a new automotive plant. For this project, um, with everything we did for the body shop, we achieved over two and a half million dollars in energy savings per year for the life of the building. Through construction of the building, we specified in our building specifications uh, materials that would have high recycled content, uh, also materials that would have regional content. So we built this facility over an existing parking lot. And what we did is we took the asphalt and concrete that was here, we pulverized and milled it on site, and we left it on site and used it as building base material for the, the building slab. That in turn allowed us to divert over 95% of our construction waste from going to a landfill, and also uh, gave us a monetary savings of one and a half million dollars. So also with uh, the LEED certification, we not only looked at energy savings, water savings, and recycled content for the building, but also focuses on indoor air quality. So the building has uh, CO2 monitors throughout the building that monitors the carbon dioxide in the building. Um, we also have higher uh, filters, uh, MERV 13 filters on our equipment, our ventilation equipment, that helps reduce particulates in the air. Uh, from the operations of the building. We saved about two and a half million dollars a year in energy cost reductions. Um, that in turn equates to about 13,000 metric tons in CO2 emissions we reduced. We're also saving um, 600,000 uh, gallons of water a year with selection of low flow plumbing fixtures, uh, automated faucets, um, that sort of thing. And in turn, we also did some things with the irrigation outside for the landscaping areas. We used high-efficiency drip irrigation systems to reduce water usage out there as well.